Toronto. Hey everyone, what's up, and welcome to Silent Hill's Grand Theft Auto Guide Part 4. Okay, well now we're going to start with the uh, first little side mission, odd job thing, which is, uh, they're all pretty much just vehicles, finding random vehicles parked uh, throughout the cities. And the first thing we're going to do is the bus, or the coach. Now before I begin though, you'll probably notice something's a little different here. As you can see, different car, different um, items different score. <laughs> yeah, let's just say this is, uh, the reason for that is what I've explained on why I like to do these two missions first. <laughs> yeah, I like restart twice because first, well, I just didn't go fast enough and then the second time, oh, I had to restart three times. The first time I didn't go fast enough. Second time, I actually died during the first mission and this is the third time. So, yeah. Alright, well, um, but you know what, I don't care about that, because all I'm trying to show you is just how to get through the missions, so don't worry about the score or my inventory, really, okay? Alright, so, let's get going. So like I said, this one is kind of like, uh, the movie speed, you have to keep on going a certain speed limit. Now before, I had, I was, was going to mention just kind of tapping, whoa, the uh, X button, but I was tapping it too slow, and so the bus actually went too slow. So go ahead and tap it, so bus won't go too fast. Okay, good. So the bus won't go too fast, um, but just fast enough to where you'll be able to dodge something if something comes up right away. So once you receive the message, the bombs radio receiver is disabled, you can pull over now. Oh yeah, buddy, needs a couple of Mandanos at Oddler Docks. So, yeah, th the bus part was only the first part of this mission. Um, oh, and I guess that's another little thing to show you. Uh, what I did there is press the select button, and I'll show you the last message that came up. And then the next select, or if you press it again, it'll show you what part of the city you're in, and the last uh, pager message you received. So, after that, go ahead and get out of the bus. And what I'm going to do is look for a couple of Mandanos. Now the Mandanos, or Mandangos, something like that, I forget. Um, what was it? Mandanos, there we go. Okay, actually, yeah. They are the vehicles here that uh, look like they have a sunroof on them. So... This dude needs a couple of these down at these docks. Alright, sorry, just trying to build my uh, inventory up again. So I guess all I'm missing now is just the uh, armor. Ooh. Okay, that was close. Anyway. Okay, so just keep on going south here. Because whenever you are doing the bus, whenever you get up to the big road, if you saw it went west on the big street, just keep doing that, and then if you reach the end of the big street, and you, the bomb still hasn't been disarmed, then just go ahead and uh, go south on this street. But after the bomb's disarmed, exit the bus, get a Mondano, and then go down here past the second big road to the east, and you'll see like this little uh, small road here. So just follow this. Yeah. And then just go east with this road. Then we'll be passing one bridge. And then we'll pass this second bridge. And you'll notice the arrow start to head the other way, but don't worry about that. We'll be getting there soon enough. So as soon as you pass the second bridge, turn right to go south, turn right again to go west. Okay, and then just uh, follow the small road west, and then as soon as you're able to actually turn west again, like actually turn, uh, take that, and then this is where it will lead you to the docks. So dump vehicles under the crane at any one of the four docks for extra points. So if you're finished all the missions, or if you failed missions and you're still needing more points, 
You always just get vehicles and take them to the docks here, and then you'll just get extra points that way. So, as soon as that message comes up, get out of the vehicle, and the crane will come. Alright, so one more. So just go ahead and run back over here to this small road that we came in on and get wasted. Yeah, man. Totally. Ha. Well, darn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's okay. Just, uh... And actually, as a matter of fact, uh, if you do get wasted... Wait, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Sorry, hold on. Wait, no, one right there. Ah. Um, the hospital is actually really close to the dock area. See, we're already back at the dock, so don't worry too much about getting wasted. Well, actually, I should say worry, because you do have lives in this game. See, that's the funny thing about this, is like, the newer Grand Theft Auto games are a little harder, or not harder, but are, are actually somewhat easy, in a way, compared to these games, because these games, they, you know, it's the first Grand Theft Auto game, so, it's just, uh, the way they're built, it's like, you barely get hit by a vehicle, and, you know, you die, and of course, with the camera angles and everything, it's just difficult. So anyway, take a Madonna. And you get a mission complete. Okay, what's this one? And then machine gun. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is uh, head over to the beginning of the next little side mission. Hold on. I want to get... Okay, random bit of music there. Oh, where you at? Oh, looky. Another Mondano. <laughs> okay. Mm. So... Okay, what we're going to do, actually it's not a side mission, it's the next uh, kill frenzy is what we're going to do. So go ahead and go east and then south on the uh, first big road, and then we're going to go west on the first big road, and then south on the second small road, I think west on the first small road. And you see a crate here, which will be kill frenzy number three, which I will, as usual, save for the next video, everyone.